Lung gang, lung gang. Probability in that. And set notation. This is a very interesting question. You're going to want to favorite this and maybe share it with a pal who you think could benefit from something like this. It says the events C and D are such that the probability of C is a third, probability of D is 7 over 36, and the probability that C and not D or C not C and D is 13 over 36, find the probability of C and D, find the probability of that intersection. So guys, all about the picture, okay? So I'm going to just do a bit of shading to figure out which region we want. Uh, let me do a quick uh, substitution of pen. So here's my C and here's my D. Ah, that's clean right there, mate. Now, what does this mean? C and not D. So obviously they've told us the probability of C is a third. Probability of D is 7 over 36. Um, C and not D. C and not D. So this region here, together with not C and D. Not C and D is this one. So these two together is 13 over 36, and they want us to find the middle. I mean, this is giving me vibes of the addition rule. Um, so all of these things together make uh, A or B, or C or D in this case. So here, the probability of C or D is the probability of C plus the probability of D minus the intersection. Okay. Now, you could have done this the long way and label x, y, z and just like say z plus x is a third and x plus whatever is this and solve similar to Nah, ain't nobody got time for that. C or D is all of this shaded, well, all of this whole thing, right? Now, we know this shaded bit is 13 over 36. We just need to add x. Is the probability of C, which is a third, and the probability of D, which is 7 over 36. We just subtract the intersection, then we rearrange. Bring that here, 2x is uh, 1 third plus 7 over 36 minus 13 over 36, sixth. Divide both sides by 2, easy peasy squeeze the lemon. So with this trick, guys, it's going to save you a lot of time, okay? Now it says, if instead the events C and D satisfy this and this in terms of K, where K is a positive constant, show that C and D cannot be mutually exclusive. Okay, well, it's a completely different situation now, right? So we're not going to be using this anymore. Just get rid of it. So to answer this, we just need to think, okay, what does it mean to be mutually exclusive? Mutual exclusivity in terms of Venn diagrams means that the, there's no overlap. Okay, so there's no overlap here. So it could mean one of two things. It's the probability that C and D is zero, which I don't know how we would show that given this. Or we can go back to the addition rule and say that the probability of C or D, I wrote it before, there's just no C and D because it's just zero, right? It's just the probability of C plus the probability of D. You know, we're just adding these up. Okay. So I guess that's what we need to do and show that that's not possible somehow. So let's add them up. So we have K over K plus two plus 2 over k. I guess we bring it together. Let's do some uh, common denominators in that. So we have k lots of k plus 2. k squared <clears throat> plus 2 lots of this is 2k plus 4. Okay, now why is that not possible? Um, I mean, I can't factorize it, right? Can I complete the square? Sure. But is completing the square going to help? Because I'm going to get a k plus 1 squared and then like plus 3 or something. How is that going to help me? I don't think so. Ideally, something would have cancelled here, but it doesn't. But we have to think then, what does it mean for this to not be true? Well, most likely we can show this is not true if we can show it's bigger than 1. So if I can somehow show that's bigger than 1, then I'm done. Okay. Now we're kind of already there. Like that k plus 2, I basically see it. If I rewrite this, instead of um, expanding it, so if I didn't expand it, maybe we could have done something else. So I have k squared. Um, wait, I said, what did I say I was going to do again? k squared plus 2 lots of k plus 2 over k lots of k plus 2. Can we split the fraction there? If we split that fraction, we'll get 2 over k 
plus one over. Nah, it doesn't even, that doesn't even help me. Maybe we'll do long division. 2k plus four. So let's keep that expanded. And made that k squared plus 2k. Oh, wait. That's even nicer. Yeah, can we write that as k squared? I don't know why I didn't see that before. So if we split the fraction, yeah, plus 4 over k squared plus 2k, we get 1 plus. And we specified that this is, k is positive, so this is bigger than 1. Therefore, that would imply that probability of c or d is greater than 1, which is not possible. Okay, so a little bit of cheeky algebraic manipulation was needed there, but that's how we would answer a question like this. So guys, if you learned some new tricks today, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. Subscribe for more mass content. Share this with a mate if you think it'll benefit, from, benefit them. And feel free to check out more information about my maths courses. And feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. Link to that is in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.